Alright, so welcome to another edition of Make the Cut Classroom. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to put just basic text on the mat. It's made for a beginner level. And I know we've done a video on this before. However, that was made in 2009, and there has been, you know, more features added since since back in 2009. So I thought I'd like to cover this to go for the Make the Cut Classroom. Alright, um, to begin, I'm just going to go ahead and drag this main window over here uh, just a little closer to the workspace so the video can be uh, clearer. So alright, um, one of the first things that you'll notice is this little red line here. It's called your carrot. And you can double click anywhere on the mat and that carrot will follow. Alright, so the length of this carrot can be determined by the carrot size right here on your main window. And you can uh, increase or decrease the size. As you can see as I'm clicking on here, the the carrot size is increasing as well. You can use your up and down arrows uh, just as well. Alright, so now you have the size that you'd like. Now let's go ahead and do the uh, the fonts. Now make the cut. We'll recognize all the installed fonts that you have on your computer, whether that be TTF or OTF. So as you can see, you can you have a drop down list. A uh, quick little you know a little shortcut on seeing what that font looks like. You know, I'm going to go ahead and increase the size of this so we can see a little more of the uh, the graphics here. And you know, just select, just click on the uh, the installed fonts and just use your arrows up and down, and you can see what uh, what font uh, what what the font characters will look like. So that, that's a nice little uh, nice little tip that you can use. All right, so say that you have a font that is not on here and you would like to temporarily install it. Well that is very easy. All you have to do is click this right here, add a true type font and you know usually you'll find fonts on the web. And you can just double click here and it was now installed. You'll see a little message box right here saying the the font foo has been added which is the name of my font and it will be highlighted in blue. Alright, so to put text on the mat, there are several ways to put text on the mat. You can either, uh, you know, find the letter you want and, you know, just double click and it will it will add the letters. However, you can do what is called, you know, add a text group, which is this button right here. Alright, so you hit that and this little text group box will appear. Now you have several options here. You have vertical and auto split. Uh, the preferred, what I prefer anyway, is using the auto split. It gives you a little more options, uh, and we'll we'll discuss it later on in this video. All right, so we're going to add some text. I'm going to go ahead and put over the hill on here, and the font that I'm going to use is the foo right here, and I'm going to have auto split selected. And you can of course type whatever you want in this text box. And once you are finished, you're going to hit add, and it is going to place text exactly where the uh, that carrot was and of course you can move it around you can rotate you can even uh, resize you know to wherever you want on the mat alright so let's go ahead and discuss what the uh, the split feature did I'm gonna go ahead and add that same text here and I'm gonna uncheck the auto split just so that we can see the difference alright the auto split as you can see I can select individual letters and it will be highlighted and I'm able to move them. Alright, now I try to do that with this and I cannot. However, you can use the feature called split right here which is in your toolbar or control P and you'll get the same effect as the auto split. It just takes that one additional step out of the equation of going down here for the split. So that's what uh, the split feature does. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and clean my slate and we're going to show you what the uh, the vertical looks like you know double click to put my carrot over there I'm gonna go ahead and add the text text group right here and I'm gonna go ahead and click the vertical alright what make the cut will do is make that text vertical I'm gonna hit add and it automatically um, puts the text uh, going going long ways which is uh, the way you'd want it on this on this mat right here which is a 6 by 12 so that is basically it with the text. Of course, you can always add a bold or or italic size, and you will notice that the uh, down here the little preview window will will render it as well, so you can see what it looks like. So with that, I'm Rob with ScrappyDo.com, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial for Make the Cut Classroom. Thank you.